All right, we found us a little uh, little sucker hole. Um, has a couple feeders on it. Um, another one over there in the brush. Right here, Mr. Nick Ernie setting his uh, his five inch RBG. Look at this perfect little set right there. So he's got a uh, he's got a spring clip. Um, if I can find my finger. Anyways, he's got a spring clip on there, um, right at the top, and then obviously his uh, his five inch RBG. But look where they're going up in there and feeding. He's guarding that, ready to smack it. Um, we had a little feed pad here. It's frozen up. Um, but it was open water in front of it, so I, I did put a, a, a baited set. Um, might be a little bit early for a baited set, but uh, I just couldn't resist. And then uh, show you, we got uh, the main hut over here. Uh, we've got that guarded. We got four traps on that. Um, there's uh, basically top edge sets. I'll come up close where you can see. But look at all these bubbles in here. I mean, there, there's only the one main hut, but I wouldn't be surprised if we can, you know, pull, pull six rats out of here. Uh, maybe more, maybe less. Who knows? Who really cares? <laughs> We're having fun. Um, I just stepped in a run. But right there, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but off of that rod, there's a... Uh, a, a Bridger one and a half right there on a Hags bracket. I'll show you. Let's try and pull it up so you can see how that works. So there you can see the, the Hags bracket holding the uh, trap in place. Um, that's about 12 inches or so below the trap. So there's no way you're really going to put a trap on there unless you molest the hut. And in Michigan, that's illegal to do. Um, so I kicked some, some debris up from the bottom. Um, that'll get those rats investigating that and um, hopefully have a catch. And then we got another one on the other side of this little push up here or where they're crawling up on that side there. Um, and then basically the same thing on the front. So pretty cool. Um, this is typically how I set these up. Um, again, I normally put, you know, anywhere between two and four traps on the hut. If there's no, if there's no run or anything like that, or a crawl out, I like to push up, you know, debris or muck, you know, kind of that slap and go style set. Um, I find that to be pretty dynamite actually. Um, and then, uh, you know, find uh, find where they're feeding if you can. You know, generally this set out here that I put the carrot on, um, I would have just set the trap right on that. Um, but again, it was froze up, so I put the baited set there. And then, like I said, Nick's got that set over there and um, just screwing around. So, okay, Nick's hollering. We need some traps over there. So I gotta I gotta hustle up. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, Hope you, hope you were able to get something from that, but that's typically how we're setting up huts. See it. Feel it? So what he's doing is he's, uh, this feeder here, um, coming off of it, there was a uh, bubble trail through this skim ice, and uh, he's using his boot um, to feel the hard bottom. You'll feel like a, uh, a concave in the bottom and then it's generally a harder surface and that tells you that that's where you know the rats are traveling um, or had been at one time um, don't think they hit this last night they could have um, but it definitely locked up where some of the other feeders um, still had some open water around them but we're throwing armageddon style at this little at this little sucker pond um, <laughs> it's out of the way to travel and we already had some traps in so we're like heck with it get a bunch in um but simple as that um
Or wasn't there one right in this area, Nick? Yeah. Body grip. Right there. Oh, look at that, buddy. Mine's setting to run. Ooh, I must have that shoved down the mud a little bit. <laughs> awesome. Good way to start. Good way to hit the sucker hole. Yep. All right. We'll see if we got anything else over in here. So we had a set right here somewhere and I threw a little carrot, threw a little carrot up there. You want to hold that? This clay bottom sucked tight to those rods. <laughs> We're still set on that one. Still set there. We had one over here. But this was a uh, body grip, right? I think so. I can't remember though, honestly. Sprung with uh, debris. Mm -hmm. This one over here was a set I did that video yesterday showing how we set huts up. And uh, so we picked up that one that Nick's got coming off the run that way. We grabbed uh, this one here and then we got one right here. Rats. Yeah, a little bit better in these little farm ponds, you know. They got all the vegetation around them. Cool. Leaving the hut, we got organized. Going over to the feeder. Probably can't hear me because it's a little windy. Watch out for these logs. They'll knock you down. Jackson Jackson. Yep. But when old Nick gives that nod, you know it's game on. This was the feeder that Let me get it close to you, bud. We showed yesterday where they were going up in there feeding. All I did was set the body grip. Yeah, so nice catch. Nice catch. Head catch. On the other one. Not on the other one? Let me go, uh, I'll check this Hail Mary baited set I threw in, which it doesn't have anything on it. Um, so, 
We've got four rats right now, um, overnight off of that one hut there, which um, I thought we might get six out of here. We got two traps to go, so it's possible yet. But still, four four rats off one hut, you know. I'll take that every day of the week. Every day of the week. All right. We're going to walk over that other side and check those. All right. So we had four rats off the hut. There's only one colony of rats in here. Or family group of rats in here. It's just the one hut. There's no real bank dens or nothing. So again, we was hoping for six. We got one body grip to go and we threw in a colony. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Number five and six. Called it. <laughs> That's pretty good rat right there. That one there's pretty good rat. Yeah. But corn fed vigor. <laughs> corn fed always does the the ladies well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick, let me take that camera and see if you can pull a see if we can pull seven. See if we can seven. pull seven out of the sucker hole. Okay. Nothing? Still set? Still set. All right, so All right, we did six. Six out of the little sucker hole. Not too awful shabby. Um, I'm sure there's still maybe another couple in here, but not bad. Not bad. Proceed for next year. That's it. Another half a dozen. Yep. All right, down the road we go.